Still ahead, the superstar who oozes style, power and magnetic stage presence. She is one of the greatest top of the bill acts of the Royal Variety performance. We celebrate the diva's diva, Dame Shirley Bassey. Our final legend is a veteran of eight Royal Variety performances and is singly one of our greatest top of the bill performers of all time. So who better and more fitting to close this show than Dame Shirley Bassey? Where the Royal Party have arrived. Oh, thank you very much. How long have I got? Oh, you've got a few minutes yet. Shirley, bless her, perhaps one of our, certainly one of our greatest entertainers, but certainly maybe the greatest Bassey. Always liked a bit of drama around her. Is this frock all right and all that, you know? She loves her Dom Perignon, only drinks Dom Perignon champagne at 110 pounds a bottle. I am Arling Clover, I am glad all over, I want a shower to rain. My father, for example, when he used to watch television in Northern Ireland, he'd always say to me, now as a singer, you should watch Shirley Bassey because she lives and breathes and acts it all. If you are not a fan of Shirley Bassey's, there is something about her in the show. She brings an element of the live show into a television media, and you can feel it when you watch it at home. I'll never stop till I get to the top. Tell me why shouldn't I? I think she's one of the greatest stars to watch that Britain has ever had because she gives everything and she still at this age looks dynamic. And until the end of time, I know I'm born to say. Thank you. Favorite bits for me are playing Goldfinger, playing Goldfinger with Dame Shirley Bassey. That just doesn't get any better than that. I remember watching it with Shirley Bassey closing it, and then being on it with Shirley Bassey closing it. You know, I mean, that was incredible. I, was, I remember one year she sang Hey Jude. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart, then you can stir. Last year's show, we did Music Is My First Love for Dame Shirley so that she could actually, well, we'd use it as the bows music, the middle section, which is two minutes of music. And also, it would give Dame Shirley time to go underneath the stage, get changed into another costume, and then come up on the trap door. My music We were waiting for her. We had to put on a red dress with loads of feathers around the hem and bring her up again. As she, but as she gets on the platform, all the, all the feathers are spraying out. And I can't tell you, I mean, my heart really stopped because I thought the feathers are going to get stuck in the trapdoor as it goes up. For the show in the evening, um, we had everybody on stage, which we hadn't had for the rehearsal. And I think whoever was operating the trapdoor got a bit worried about whether everything was clear and she should come up. So in my TV monitor, I'm getting like to the last bar before she's about to start singing the next bit of music, the end of the, the whole instrumental. And I can't see the trapdoor opening and I can't see her coming up. So my instinct is, oh my God, is she going to be there? So if you listen to that, I slow the music right down even further than I normally would to, to give her her entrance.
I was stood in the middle of the stage, and um, we're all meant to part at the climax of the finale. We've all taken our bows, and Shirley comes through the floor and sings. Well, I know the song very well, and we all opened, we looked upstage, the trap door went down, nobody fell down, it was brilliant, and then this head came up, and these eyes looking. I thought, oh my God, for one split second, I thought she would be left in the middle of the stage just looking like that. <laughs> and we all was like, well, my! <laughs> what actually happened was it came up about um, a foot or so, and then stopped and then shot the rest of the way up. So poor old Dame Shirley went jolt and then all the way up while she was singing. At the end of the show, Dame Shirley did her bit, and there was a standing ovation. And I then heard that that's the fourth time, only the fourth time in the Royal Variety's history, that there's been a full standing ovation for an artist. It's almost as though we should sign a petition and say, look, uh, I want to be on it, but Shirley's got to close it every year, because she just has that aura about it that's, that's very special, I think. And when the final curtain falls, it's time for the performers to look back and reflect on what has been, for most of them, the most prestigious performance of their career. My first intonation was to ring my mother to say, you never guess, I've been asked to do the Royal Variety, because it was the biggest thrill of all time. And I've made loads of great friends from doing it. You know, the, the people I, I would wouldn't have uh, come across and then I find myself in a show with them. I loved every moment of the Royal Variety Show. Well, that's not what you said before the performance. I, I mean, she was mad because the Queen wouldn't loan her a scepter, you know. I'm in fact, Piggy was something of a royal pain. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you pain, frog. <laughs> Hi -ya! I'm getting excited now talking about it because it's just... It's the most frightening thing, it's the most exciting thing. Suddenly, the powers that be say, how would you like to do the Royal Variety performance? And you think, thank you, God. All of us feel that we're there because the Queen has somehow, want, she wants us to be there. It was such an honor, you know, to be doing it and to get asked was like unbelievable. And I was, I think, for two months after being told was, you know, like a nervous wreck, you know, and, uh, uh, it, it was just a great honour. There were some great moments for everybody on, in the history of the Royal Variety performance, but without a doubt, the best part of the whole show is when the curtain came down at the end and you can reflect on what you've done. I was just so honoured to have been a, so much a part of this country for so much of my life. Thank you. A bank holiday giggle from two British legends tomorrow on ITV3. When we spend the day in the affable company of the two Ronnies, don't miss it. Back to tonight, and Super Sleuths continues with Inspector Wexford next, before an exclusive peek behind the scenes on Stephen Fry's latest project. Don't miss Kingdom at 10.